Well, here it goes. I've been watching all the comments about uh, the shooting in Connecticut and the response from our government officials and now the response from the NRA. And everybody's upset that the executive for the NRA is uh, disconnected and out of touch. Well, isn't that every executive and every CEO, CEO in our country and every government official as far as that goes? Look, President Obama has asked how we can control violence. Well, most violent attacks come from young adults who are unable to interact in society. Well, outlaw guns can prevent this, right? Of course not. Our children are raised in a society where they text, they email, they don't pick up a phone and communicate with each other. They don't have any social skills. It's the world we built for them. We need to outlaw computers and cell phones and make texting and emails illegal so our children can learn to socialize again. But that won't happen because that's not the agenda. The agenda is gun control. Second of all, most violent attacks come from single parent homes. Outlawing guns can prevent divorce, right? Of course not. Maybe we ought to forego some income on taxes from alcohol and outlaw alcohol. Most families that have been destroyed and relationships have been destroyed through alcohol and the abuse of alcohol. Most infidelity occurs when someone is under the influence of alcohol, not to mention all the deaths that occur from drunk drivers. However, once again, this is not the agenda. The agenda of the current administration is gun control. This generation is young, lazy, disconnected, and undisciplined. We've pushed this liberal, everything goes crap on them for years. Now look where it's gotten us. We need to reinstate corporal punishment in schools. The teacher needs to be able to control the classroom. Not, oh, you spanked my child, I'm going to sue you now. Parents need to be parents and not best friends. You need to set some guidelines and some boundaries in your households. You need to teach your kids responsibility and hold them accountable for their actions. Now, when your child misbehaves, I guess it's because we don't have tight enough gun controls. Well, that's not the agenda. The agenda is take away the guns. It is our given right in this country to have guns to be able to protect ourselves. This shore has never been attacked by another militia or another military. Now, we have been attacked by terrorists, but one of the reasons we don't get attacked by foreign armies is the fact that they know our, our homes are armed. I'll gladly lay my guns down today and not have my home protected by a firearm if President Obama will unarm the Secret Service at the White House. Now, they seem to have to have guns to protect him, and his family, now his kids are adorable on TV and his wife has a great smile, but they're no more precious than my, my children and my wife to me. So if they can be protected, then so can mine. One more thing before I go. If your child has a mental illness, please do not make target shooting and marksmanship their new hobby. It's a bad idea, and that's what happened in Connecticut. Now, that's the end of my my video on gun control and the current agenda with this administration i'm going to post this out on youtube so people can see a real average american um with his thoughts on it and i'm that's what i am an average guy and i'm going to see how many hits i get how many likes i get and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to tell you why we don't reform welfare have a good day guys